what did you learn when you got on the rig? You hadn't exhibited any symptoms prior to leaving Hardin County. So then you get to the rig, then what happens? Well, everything was fine. Um, I didn't have any symptoms or anything uh, until about three three days later, four days later, pretty close to four days. And uh, I started feeling fatigue. And then I started feeling a uh, light, a dry cough. And then it, then it went into some chills and fever at night and the tightness of chest. So, Did you fear for your life yeah. right in that place? Did you start to fear for your life? Um, no, I kind of felt like I just kind of like flu-like symptoms, you know. I really didn't feel like I was going to die or anything, but I wouldn't. It was just kind of slowly creeped in. It wasn't all at once. And then, like, the tightness of chest is a very light, you know, just a little bit like you're just, like you just walked up the stairs and you're kind of short-winded a little bit. That's what it feels like. You know, I, apparently you are the first Hardin County related coronavirus confirmation. Yes, sir, and probably the first offshore, too. <laughs> yeah. 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 And... What's your message to folks that say, because you seemingly, well, you describe, I won't, I won't put it into your words, you put it into your words, and tell us about your condition now. Are you are you getting better? Well, I still have a little shortness of breath, and I do have fever more and more at nighttime. So um, I'm running about 100, 100 and, uh, about 100.4 at night, and then I just uh, my head has always got a headache. And my eyes are kind of warm, kind of a burning, and then tightness of chest. And it kind of goes through these little phases where you think you're over it and it's done during the day. Or For me, it's during the daytime. I lost my uh, appetite. And then I get my appetite back, and then I lose it again. and It's like back to fever again. So it's getting a little less frequent. So um, I feel like I'm on the downside. Getting a little better, I think. <clears throat> what do they tell you about when you will be clear, so to speak. Well, that's when you're no longer symptomatic, and that can be when basically uh, after three days of having a normal temperature, mm -hmm. I can go ahead and take a, a COVID test. I have to take four of them. And um, um, after that, I'll have a 14-day. If I pass that, then I'll have a 14-day uh, self-quarantine before I can return to work. So it's going to be something around a month. It could be almost, yeah, it could be close to like 25 to days, maybe even 30. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's yeah, it's tough because, you know, you're not around anyone. I can't go anywhere. I can't go to the store or nothing. So. Right. If you feel certain you did not get it before you left Hard County. I'm pretty sure I didn't because – uh Nobody around me, my family, no one has it. Uh, no one's systematic. Right. They yeah. first brought you off the rig and back about 150 miles offshore, back to a New Orleans hospital. You were there for how long? They flew me there, uh, med medevaced me out on the uh, helicopter evacuation to New Orleans, and where I taken the uh, where I took the COVID test. There, I took flu flu test, two of those, and it was negative. And then how long were you in the New Orleans hospital? Probably about three hours. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then they said, you can go back home, Lumberton, Texas, but. Yeah, but you're going to have to self-quarantine until you get the results. So I was thinking, well, my wife, you know, um, I before I got home, I made sure that they all left the house before I got there so that they were safe. Yes, sir. Did you get a big gulp in Orange County? No, I didn't pull over anywhere. I went straight home. You, you know? didn't get a you didn't get a big gulp on Main Street in Lumberton. Nope, not at the new store. No nothing. <laughs> straight to the house. No yes. one was at the house. That's right. You're satisfied, yeah, you're satisfied. You've done everything possible, and that you're in the house, and that oh, you yeah. followed the rules to because you're. Uh, thank God you're starting to come back up, but uh, you know so many others are at risk. 
Yeah, there's about a five day uh, incubation period. So if I had any contact with, which I did probably have contact with people um, on a just a working basis. You mean on the they list? Would, yeah, they would have it probably contracted probably after, you know, five days after they had any contact with me. So, you know, they're all quarantined anyway, and they have already picked off everybody that uh, I had any interaction with. So that's a good thing. And you are safely hunkered down in your house in Lumberton, Texas. Yeah. Nobody comes to the door. Nobody bothers anything. You have a little sign out or anything? How does that work? No, I don't put any sign out, but uh, I don't go out. I don't uh, go anywhere, and I don't. No one comes over here. You know, I'm not going to get it. No one's going to come over here and visit me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you feel like they know. You feel like <laughs> that your friends know. Yeah, I've told my friends and my family, so, uh, yeah. Wow, buddy. Thank you so much for taking all those precautions, by the way, speaking on behalf of the community. And thanks so much for talking with 1813news.com. And, by the way, we're just so happy that you're feeling better, buddy. Thank you. A little better, and we're, and we're praying for you. Uh, people just need to be careful and, you know, not to uh... – not get out there in public. Don't don't take uh take it for granted because it really it is out there, and uh, you know just wash your hands. <laughs> yeah. Be careful. Take precautions. Yeah. Hey, we'll talk with you soon, my friend. Thank you. Bye bye. All right.